Design Institute has connections to the community. We run an initiative, a program called the Classroom Without Walls Initiative. And that is a program where we partner with nonprofit organizations and we provide design solutions for them at no cost. It's a win-win situation for our students and for the nonprofit organization and gives our students real life experience. I think that empathy, or the idea of understanding your end user, is the essence of human-centered design. And Classroom Without Walls really builds that capacity um, not only to understand the end user of that particular project, but the process by which you uncover what the end users really need. Getting other viewpoints and not, not just going with your first solution, your first gut of how to solve this thing, but talking to other people and getting other other inputs and, and how you know it, it could impact them or you know have you looked at it from a sustainability aspect have you looked at it from accessibility there's all these different avenues that you can look at so we were actually the first class to do a, a classroom without walls project and Lily Robinson had set it up with a partner as a partnership with UCSD for some dorm rooms and the, the project was to to really uh, create a design for rooms that stuck with the parameters of the of the dorm so they didn't want you to paint walls they didn't want you to hang anything up on the walls uh, penetrate the walls no nails no screws but hey we really want this to be warm and inviting for our students right so uh, that was that was the problem and it was um, a really a challenging but really interesting group group assignment for us. The client is a retiring officer from the Chula Vista Police Department. So they have a private owned clubhouse. It's not from the police department, but you know, retired officers from the department. They have a clubhouse where they would go there. Uh, they have a lounge. They were willing to have like a gym and just a place for them to meet. The concept we have was to encourage them or uh, praise them as superheroes. So the main concept for it is, you know, like the Justice League or uh, Marvel superhero. And um, a lot of, you know, thought about uh, some newer technology, newer materials that feels more like uh, almost a superhero movie. The space that they were in was a little bit dated and it wasn't working functionality wise for them. So when we interviewed them, and it was me and my partner Aubrey, so it was just a, a two person project. Um, one of the things they said was that they wanted an uplifting worship experience, that was like a huge one. And then they also wanted their cafe space to like double as cafe slash like meeting conference area. Um, so it needed to be pretty flexible. So with that, we had to address a lot of those issues. And so we did a lot of natural light. Um, our concept was House of Light because they wanted this like enhanced worship experience. Um, so a lot of natural light and then good acoustics in the sanctuary was a huge one. Um, and then in the cafe space, we did a lot of like durable materials um, and modular furniture was a huge one so that they could move things around and reconfigure the space to work for them. So um, Humble Design, it's a nonprofit, and our whole mission is to help furnish homes for people that are transitioning out of homelessness. In fall 2020, we, have, we are partnering with uh, Humble Design, redesigning their warehouse and offices uh, where the volunteers repair furniture and create artwork and uh, meet with clients who are formerly hom homeless and we're really looking forward to partnering with them. Me and Lily, the professor who I had actually, um, she called me and she was like, hey, like, let's figure out how we can partner together. Um, and I started telling her about how we need to move warehouses soon. So with the new warehouse, I want us to have like a better game plan of it being like better organized and 
more showroom-esque is what we want or more like a home goods. Um, and so she was telling me, well, why don't we have the students like work on this as a project, kind of like what you did for the church. And I was like, that's a great idea. Like I'd love to see some ideas. And um, so basically that's what we're, we're working on together. Oh, 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 oh,